Hello guys, on this chapter we'll see how to add doors to our castle. The objective of this node tree is to keep the doors always on the middle bottom part of the face. We'll use the raycast node to measure the height of the face and a plane to create a cube and spawn the doors or any elements there. I tried a couple of ways to make this in the simplest way possible and I found this good solution. This method works to split each face with the resultant point. Also, this method works well with full vertical walls but may not work on walls with some degree of angle. Sorry for the delay with this chapter, I was participating on the CG Boost challenge. This was my submission and I'm very proud today. Tomorrow maybe not, so if you want to know more about this process, comment below please. Let's move to the GeoNode. I will show the explanation in a separate file because it will be easier for you to understand. First step, we'll extrude the size of the mesh to be able to raycast the height of the face. We can put here minus one or plus one on the axis and the other vectors values in zero. The raycast node by default measure from the center of the face, so the heat distance will be the half of the distance. We'll use a multiply by two nodes to have the full height. We'll use this value with combined x, y, and z. For x, zero is okay. I one and c the connected node. Next, we start a new branch from the original geometry. We split edge, capture the normal attribute of the faces, and create the mesh to point node and instance on point. For the instance, we'll use a cube with value size of 0, 0, 1, and two vertices on each axis is enough. This is better for processing time. Now, we can add the selection. I use the normal capture attribute to select the face pointing C up and inverting this selection with the boolean math node in node. So we'll get only the side face. I added a material selection tool with another boolean math node. We'll use the capture attribute in conjunction with align Euler to vector I with pivot in C to rotate our instance cube. We realize the instance mesh by distance to weld on a single line and we convert this to a curve. Now we have an amazing setup. We'll connect this to an instance on point node. For the selection, we'll use the endpoint selection node, an amazing node who permits select each point of the curve. In this case, we'll use only one for star size and the object or collection for the doors. And it's ready. Here is the node applied to my castle. Bonus time. If you want to have a nice clay or line eye render, you can have it very fast using the Workbench engine to render. It's so quick and a clear render always helps for a good presentation, but it takes care in the line art. Render is easy to spot the mistake, use it wisely. Also, the modifier tools is an add-on that you can find installed by default. This add-on will help you to turn off all the viewport visualization to delete all the modifiers or reduce the stack and apply all the modifiers. It's very handy when you are working with your nodes and want to see the base geometry. I hope you like it, subscribe and like and see you in the next one.